freezing bloody cold out. Um, just uh, making a video on my way to work. Um, concerning uh, something interesting that keeps coming up when I make this series of videos on what I consider to be the deification of certain Western skeptical or scientific or scientistic ideas or views of the world. The thinking goes that um, the people who will were more likely to espouse Matt Dillahunty's apparent type of atheism, i.e. belief in logic or... And I, and I mean belief. I don't mean just subscription to the idea of logic as a useful tool. I'm saying belief in logic, something along the lines of logic rolls the dice, is a view that logic is absolute. Uh, people that do that, and people that sort of insist on a materialistic, hard scientific view of things, are often from and a religious background, and they need to replace a certainty with another certainty, however negative that certainty might be in the case of, say, an antinatalist or an ethelist or whatever you want to call these people, Benetarians. Um, I kind of come from a religious background, but not a religious background that many people shared. My family was utterly irreligious. I believe my mother was an atheist, but they sent me to a Catholic school. Plus, I come from a culture where Catholicism is pretty much inextricable from it. So I got a blast of the religious stuff, but there was always refuges in my life from it, i.e. my family, my friends, that kind of thing, although a lot of my friends were quite religious. Um, <clears throat> so I can, I can relate to that, um, although <laughs> a lot of people accuse me of dealing in uncertainty almost as a fetish. But the interesting thing is, the other side of what people sort of criticize or note about my position is that I don't cleave to the idea of being an atheist. I doubt that there's a god out there, but I don't really see that's a big deal, uh, or maybe a big deal in terms of the cosmology, but not a big deal in terms of my relations to other human beings. Uh, I don't really care much what the next person thinks. Um, but one could say, though, that the uncertainty that I'm peddling or uh, sort of advocating, or that I follow myself, is in itself a form of certainty. We can't know anything. We're just this constant sort of thing moving through constant becoming, the sort of epitome of Pantarai and uh, the abolition of all identity and all everything. Um, that too is a, it could be seen as a species of certainty. Uh, and also the refusal to commit to any position could be a could be seen as a type of certainty. Now, the reason why I'm raising this is, uh, I go for utter skepticism, I guess, or it looks that way, or sometimes even seems that way to me. Uh, and I sort of look at other people saying, you just need somewhere to stand. You're just inventing all of this. I, you rarely say that to anybody's face, but that's what's going on in the back of my mind. But then again, <laughs> it's entirely possible that that's how they see me. 